Okay, the next ones we're going to go over are your chokes, standing and sitting. The first ones we're going to do are your sitting chokes, or ones that your opponent would be on their knees. Now we're going to do these with our practice partner in a kneeled or sitting position. This is a safety precaution so that nobody gets hurt. Now remember, the objection of this drill is not to knock out your opponent or your partner. We don't want them being knocked out because then it's dangerous to try to revive them correctly. Now, the first one we're going to use is the blood choke. Now, the key to these chokes, or, or any chokes, is don't come around like this because if I come around like this, he can just come up and block very easily. We always want to snake or crawl within it. Now, a blood breath choke, the thumb here goes right across the windpipe, just like so. The hand comes straight on the shoulder. We grab. Now you want to tuck your chin because he's going to try to strike your eyes or hit you when you apply this. So tuck your head, pull in, and then immediately let go as soon as your partner slaps. Okay, again on the breath, the hand comes in. Thumb right, right there. The crook of the thumb should be just right on that windpipe. You should just feel it. Palm straight down, tuck your head, push and pull. Okay, the blood choke, same thing, except we're going to come up higher. The thumb should come around the carotid artery. Same position, just a slightly different tuck and chin. Okay, what you see a lot of students do is they put the elbow way down here. Now, you don't want that because he could just use the crook of his elbow, crook of your elbow to breathe. So make sure these are flush. So the blood choke again, here, grab, and squeeze. Now keep in mind, if you're actually using these in a self-defense situation, it's going to take up to about 30 seconds for the guy to pass out. And during that time, he's not going to sit there and just let you do it. He's going to be struggling, so you need to be ready and hang on and go for a ride. The other thing is, is make sure you're close and up personal with your opponent. Don't be out here like this trying to apply it, because you've got no base. He's just going to keep moving or he's going to dance her out. So you've got to be up next to him. The next one we're going to look at is the scissor choke. This one, you come up almost like a blood choke, but you're going to grab his gi. This hand comes in the back. Some people refer to it almost as the I dream a genie because of the way your hands are. Hand here, grab your bicep, and squeeze. Okay, again on the scissor choke, you come in and around. Grab his gi. Grab your bicep, and then squeeze together. Okay, the next one we're going to look at is the half Nelson. Basically, you start to do like a blood or breath choke, and the guy comes up and tries to get you with his eyes. You know, he's trying to punch you or something. So you just come in and wrap it, and then apply it as well. Okay, again, on the half Nelson, you start to do the choke, and he's trying to come up and fight you. So use his arm to help with the lock. The last one of these we're going to look at is the python. Now, the python is this, okay? So the hand comes here, and this goes here, just like this. Now, if you do this, the elbow should just be slightly past the shoulder, and this is here. Now, if you do this properly, he should start feeling it before you even apply the lock. Okay? Again, the elbow slightly past the shoulder, not on the shoulder, just past it. This hand comes in, and you grab your own bicep. Get in there nice and snug. Grab the crown of his head, tuck, and squeeze. Okay, and those are your t uh, chokes for a sitting position.